All right, welcome back. Again, I'm on the Unit 4 um, video editing page, and I'm down here at the bottom, the Technology Review Computer Tech Project. All right, so let's look at your project so we can actually start planning the script. And again, I know you don't know how to edit in the software. That's fine. We're just planning your script for filming. So over here on the right, click on Technology Review Movie. And down here at the bottom, um, click on the Click Here for um, Instructional Sheet. All right, so for your first project, you will create a video on on a technology review that we wrote this semester. Um, so we have actually written three so far. I was waiting to update that. Um, and so those are the ones that we've done in the discussion post. Um, you may have done one on the drones that Amazon is sending into your house. You may have done one on the new self-driving cars. Um, so those were the types of things that we did here in a second. I'll show you where we can find those. Um, using the topic that you came up with, create um, a creative movie uh, to present your findings. So you're going to use that topic since we already researched it. Um, you've already done that. And so you don't have to spend time doing that. So that just saves you an extra step. And you're going to make it a twist. So maybe you're going to be a news anchor or reporter reporting on that new invention or product. Maybe you're going to be the inventor of a product. Uh, maybe you're going to do a commercial for it. Um, it's up to you. Sky's the limit. So come up with something unique. And remember to plan your movie completely before beginning. So what's your topic? It's your technology review. Again, make it interesting. Um, research and compile citations. Well, you've already done that. You've already researched it and compiled the citations in your discussion post, and we'll look at where we can find those. It needs to be at least one minute in length, no longer than two minutes. The one minute in length will include your title and credits, as well as images that you may have in your video as well. But it's a better idea to over plan and have too much footage than to under plan and have to refilm later. Who will be in the movie? You, friends, classmates, family, whoever you can get to film with you. It's up to you. Props, you can look around your house, you can print off pictures, use things that will help you to convey what you're doing to your viewer. Collect photos. Um, so once you've written your script, um, if you have extra time in class, I want you to go ahead and go to Google Images and Flickr and start finding images that you can put into your video. So that way, as we begin learning the editing process, when I come back next week, you'll be ready to go and you've got all your materials. Same thing with music. Um, here in a second, I'm going to show you how to use Ben Sound. So again, that way, if you run out of time, um, you will have time and you can go ahead and go look at that. So um, after you've done all the above, you can go ahead and start filming um, and just remember all the things that we've talked about. And also remember to be professional. Um, if you laugh, then, you know, you either need to refilm that or you're going to have to trim that out in the editing process. Um, so be thinking about that. Um, and again, anyone who is sitting dull reading off of their script will be given an immediate F. So you want to think about that. All right. So what are you going to be doing in class now? So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be preparing for your technology review movie script. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to activities and you want to go to discussions. And I'm going to open this up in a new tab so I can come back here. OK, so I go to activities, I go to discussions and here are your discussions. And this third one, I'm actually filming this video before we do it, but we will be doing it here soon. You can see it's due on Halloween. All right. So you're going to go in here and you're going to choose what you which one you want to do. Um, so let's just say I'm Elizabeth and here's Elizabeth's technology review on the yoga book. So maybe this is what she's going to use. She's already got her citation. So information courtesy of PC World. Um, and she's got information that she can use in her script. Uh, let's see here. So maybe Caroline, maybe she's going to use this one. And this is about um, the fingerprint scanning. And so she's going to, you know, make that into a twist and actually show how it works. Who knows? So that's what you want to do first is you want to go find the article you're going to do. OK, then under the ready to film page and we skipped this, we're coming back to it. We're going to look at the movie script. OK, so we're going to click on that and we're going to open that up. OK, and here's an example of my movie script. So MS is for medium shot. This is what you'll learn in the cinematography videos of Ashley Wright sitting at her desk, frustrated and upset. So you're telling how the actor should look so that way you can 
give them the script and they can know what they're supposed to do. And then Ashley, I say, what am I going to do? This device keeps freezing. I can't do any of my work and my big fingers keep pressing the wrong icons. Help! Then it is a um, front shot of Paige Robinson, um, excuse me, full shot, who walks into the classroom, happy and overly confident, sits at her desk, medium shot, and pulls out her Surface book. Close up of the Surface slowly opening. So you're putting in there every action you're seeing, um, everything that everyone is saying, everything that's going on the video. You want it all in the script. So you're gonna literally write out everything that you can think of. Okay, so that is your assignment that you're working on while I'm gone is you've got to get the script done. Once you get the script done over the weekend, everyone needs to film on Monday. I'm going to show you how to edit and you're all going to begin begin editing your film. So if you don't have your film then you're just wasting class time that I'm giving you to complete your project. So everyone needs to be prepared for class. OK, so this week, once again, you're writing your script and you are filming at home. You are not filming here at school. And your project is going to be due on November the 9th. So I'm not here the 2nd, 3rd, or 4th, okay? And so you're gonna be working on this the 7th, 8th, and 9th. I may give you an extra day if everyone is prepared for class, but only if everyone is prepared. Now, if you're having trouble getting started, don't know where to start, here are two great examples. This one here is from a student a couple of years ago who did Netflix first Amazon. And then here's one, Nicol Nicholas Poulos, um, who did one on, I believe it was um, security passwords. So take a look at those. Those are really going to help you get started. All right. Now, if you finish the script, and you filmed and you have nothing to do in class or you finish the script and you have nothing to do in class you should be researching images that you can use for your project and you should be going out and looking for music now how can you look for music if you come back up here under unit 4 video editing and you come down to movie maker okay you scroll down you got to scroll 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 Okay, down at the bottom here, I've got this video here, Ben Sound Creative Commons Music. Watch this video and I'm going to show you how to use Ben Sound and you guys can go ahead and start looking for music that you want to use. If you want to use music off of iTunes that you have purchased, you may do that, but you are still only allowed to use 30 seconds. When you bought that song, you did not buy the rights to distribute that music to anyone. You bought the rights to listen to it for yourself. So again, you can only use 30 seconds if you decide to use your iTunes. All right, so I should have given you enough to do for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. If you run out of things to do, then use the time for a study hall, okay? And if you're confused on anything, email me. I will be in a conference. I will have my laptop with me. I'm going to be checking it often. I'm going to be on the computer the whole time. So if you're confused about anything, just shoot me an email and I'd be happy to answer that for you. And uh, again, I'm sorry I can't be there, but I can't wait to see you guys in class uh, when I return on Monday. So when it's Friday, have a great weekend.